Cream cheese is a popular frosting flavor, but it's probably one of the most trickiest ingredients. And I figured that out pretty quickly when I developed a stable cream cheese frosting. And that's because looks are deceiving with cream cheese. It looks solid, so it seems reasonable to treat it like butter. But cream cheese is more like heavy cream regarding water and fat content. And that's only half the equation. Cream cheese contains stabilizers in the form of hydrocolloids. And those are the gums that thicken liquid fermented heavy cream into solid cream cheese. And these hydrocolloids are finicky. They can change the texture of the cream cheese based on temperature and even how fast you stir things. This is called thixotropy and why shaking a Chick-fil-A sauce container allows it to flow out more quickly. So for my buttercream, I thought, what if I did the opposite? Instead of trying to maintain the solidity, I instead destroyed the cream cheese. I added sugar directly, mixed on high speed, and heated all the things you're not supposed to do. That created a syrup, which I was then able to mix with butter to create my frosting. 